Speaking of which, you host an amazing podcast that we've mentioned several times, but should mention over and over, The Portal, uh, where you somehow manage every single conversation is a surprise. You go, <laughs> I mean, not just the guests, but just the, the places you take them, uh, the, the kind of ways they become challenging and how you recover from that. I mean, it's, uh, there's just, it's full of genuine human moments. So I, I really appreciate what you're, it's a fun, fun podcast to listen to. Uh, let me ask some silly questions about it. What, what have you learned about conversation, about human to human conversation? Well, I have a problem that I haven't solved on the portal, which is that in general, when I ask people questions, they usually find their deeply grooved answers. And I'm not so interested in all of the deeply grooved answers. And so there's a complaint, which I'm very sympathetic to actually, that I talk over people, that I won't sit still for the answer. And I think that that's weirdly sort of correct. It's not that I'm not interested in hearing other voices. It's that I'm not interested in hearing the same voice on my program that I could have gotten on somebody else's. And I haven't solved that well. So I've learned that I need a new conversational technique where I can keep somebody from finding their comfortable place and yet not be the voice talking over that person. Yeah, it's funny. I can sense like your conversation with Brett, I can sense you detect that the line he's going under uh, down is, you know how it's gonna end and you don't, you think it's, it's a useless line, so you'll just stop it right there and you take them into the direction that you think it should go. But that requires interruption. Well, and it does so far. I haven't found a better way. I'm looking for a better way. It's not, it's not like I don't hear the problem. I do hear the problem. I just, I haven't solved the problem. And, you know, on the, on the bread episode, um, I was insufferable. It was very difficult to listen to. It was so overbearing. But on the other hand, I was right. You know, it's like it's funny. You keep saying that, but I didn't find it. Maybe because I heard brothers. Like I heard a big brother. Yeah, it was pretty bad. Really? I think so. I didn't think it was bad at all. Well, a lot of people found it insufferable. Interesting. And I think it also has to do with the fact that this has become a frequent experience. I have several shows where somebody who I very much admire and think of as courageous, uh, you know, I'm talking with them, maybe we're friends, and they sit down on the show and they immediately become this fake person. Mm. Like two seconds in, they're they're sort of saying, well, I don't want to be too critical or too harsh. I don't want to name any names. I want to this, don't want He's like, okay, I'm going to put my listeners through three hours of you this. being sweetness and light. Yeah. Like at least give me some reality and then we can decide to shelve the show and never let it hear uh, you know, the, the, the call of freedom in the, in the bigger world. But I've seen I, you break out of that a few times. I've seen you be successful with it. Uh, I forgot the guest, but she was dressed with, um, um, you, where you, at the end of the episode, you uh, had an argument about Brett. I, f I forgot. Oh, Agnes Collar. Yeah, Agnes Collar. Agnes Collar, the philosopher for, at the University of Chicago. Yeah, you've continuously broken out of her. Uh, you guys went, you know, uh, I mean, you seem pretty genuine. I like her. I'm completely ethically opposed to what she's ethically for. <laughs> well, she was great. And she wasn't like, that. you're both going hard. She's a grown up. Yeah, exactly. And she knows that I care about her. So and that was awesome. Yeah. But you're saying that some people are difficult to break out. Well, that way. it's just that, you know, she was bringing the courage of her convictions. Yeah. She was sort of defending the system. And I thought, wow. That's a pretty indefensible system that you're well, defending. But that's great though, she's doing that, isn't it? I mean- It made I, for an awesome- the, I think the it, it's very right? informative for right. the world. Yes, you just hated- <laughs> I just can't stand the idea that somebody says, well, yeah. we don't care who gets paid or who gets the credit as long as we get the goodies, because that seems like insane. Have you ever been afraid leading into a conversation? Uh, Gary Kasparov. <laughs> Really? I, by the way, I mean, uh, I know I'm just a fan taking requests. But, but I, start, I started the beginning in Russian. And yeah, in fact, I used one word incorrectly. Is that, was, that terrible? You no, know, it, it was pretty good. It was pretty good Russian. <laughs> what was terrible is I think he complimented you, right? No. Did he compliment you or was that me? Did he compliment you on your Russian? Well, he said almost perfect Russian. Yeah, like he was full of shit. <laughs> 
that was that was not great Russian, but that was not great Russian. That was great. That was hard. That was, you tried hard, which is what matters. That is so insulting. <laughs> I hope so, <laughs> but I do hope you continue. I, it felt like I don't know how long it went. It might have been like a two hour conversation, but it felt. I I hope it continues. Like I feel like you have many Gary? more conversations with Gary. Yeah, I I would love to hear. There's certain conversation I would just love to hear. Long, well, much, just, much longer. you know, he, he's coming from a very. It's this issue about needing to overpower people in a very dangerous world, and so Gary has that need. Um, yeah, he wasn't. In, he was interrupting you. It's sure. an interesting dynamic. It was. Uh, it was an interesting dynamic. Two Weinstein's going at two. I mean, two powerhouse egos, brilliant. No, I mean, you just don't say egos. Minds, minds, spirits, minds. You don't have an ego. You're the most humble person I know. Is that true? No, that's a complete lie. 